drop in and just in time for a song. Standing down the red gates, watch the night suffocate all the lights that smothers the sun. I can tell by the moon you'll be joining me soon as a guest in my fortress of fun. And I can't wait to see you and once again free your release from your humorous hair. What is up all you comic book fans of comic book villain coming to you here with another comic book haul. This is my 90 my 90 second comic book haul for 11 for November 29, 2017. I hope everybody makes it out to their local LCSs and gets what they want and finds what they're looking for. Um it gets started today. It should be a pretty simple and easy haul. I mean it's the, I still got a, quite a few books. There it is, the the Till or Aqua bag. Um, unfortunately, there's only one bag today because apparently, apparently uh, UPS had a problem. Apparently, they said it was an accident. They got me some lotto tickets. Hopefully, I win the lotto. Um, I had an accident that had all of apparently South Texas um, comic books. And this one location that I got these books from, they get theirs through FedEx, they said. Because this is one of the, like, the franchise bookstores around here. Has uh, two, is it two or three locations? I think it's, I know two for sure. But it's like, the, it's one of the biggest stores in the city. So, of course, they said they get, they, they get theirs on, their shipments on pallets. So, they go a different route. They get it from FedEx. And all the other comic book stores, you know, they get boxes. So, you know. So everybody else in South Texas didn't get theirs apparently, which I called to verify, you know, I called my other location where I have my box at and sure enough he said he didn't get his, called another location and said he didn't get this, so picked up a Spotlights, uh, Marvel Spotlights and go through that. This is a book that came out today, uh, everybody was, not everybody was grabbing it, but a lot of people were. Because at midtown they showed the pit, they showed the comic, but they blurred out the picture of the girl, Logan number thirty-one, old man Logan number thirty-one, Scarlet Samurai Part One, and I picked up two copies right there. That is a very nice looking cover. They did have, I want to say, the one in. It was, I, I didn't get to see what the variant was. One in ten, one in fifteen, maybe even one in twenty-five. I don't know, but it was. I saw it. They only had two. Well, the reason I saw it because I saw the guys grab them. And they only had two, and then so that's when I found out. So I called another location to see if they if they were gonna if they had it, and so I can go pick it up. And that's when the girl told me she said that they didn't get their shipment, and they're probably weren't gonna get their shipment until tomorrow because of the accident. Here's another new one that came out right here. Welcome to Mystique U. And this is one right here. Um, this is number one. I think it's gonna be a four four part series. This is book one right there. That's a nice looking cover right there. What? The, uh, so, and then this one right here, they only have one cover. What is this cover? This is the, uh, it's 246. This is 462. Hmm. I'm trying to see this was, I forgot if this was the A cover. This might be the A cover. But this is the G.I. Joe with the new snake eye on it. Snake eyes on it. I picked that up. I forgot if that's the A or the B cover. But I think it's the... I want to say it's going to be the A cover. And then Moon Knight number 189 came out. This is just an awesome looking cover right here. I picked that one up. Because I, I stopped getting Moon Knight. I think in, before they went over to the Legacy Numbers. I forgot what I stopped at, but I did pick up the new one that went over to the Legacy. I did pick it up. And this is Dark Hawk. This is the uh, <clears throat> the card cover. Kind of starting to dig these covers. At first, I didn't like them, but I kind of like them now. 
So this is the new one right here. This is Dark Hawk number 51, I believe. But it's number 51, but they say it's number one or whatever. I guess of this storyline. Let me take these down right here. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Move those over. And I was with the comic, comic Crip of Castle Hills was there. And as everybody was winding down, me and him were sitting there talking for a while. Everybody, you know, everybody picked up their books and kind of clearing out little by little. So he went over to go see what books were there. And he saw this and goes, oh, look, there's Vampirella. Says, you got the cosplay cover. And I said, yeah, I got that one in my, in my subscription box. So he goes, oh, you got it? So I just walked over there and he showed it. He goes, yeah, look. And I said, all right. And I looked at it and this was on the shelf. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Virgin cover because the other one, because I did order the cosplay, but it's going to have Vampirella up here and it'll say number and everything. But they had it there on the shelf with the other two two covers or whatever. Because this is, I believe this is the Virgin cover and I think it was like 5 or $6 at Midtown. So I picked it up there, got it for $3.99. Of course, everybody was grabbing this one because they did it. They're introducing a new... I heard it was a new villain. Another guy said he read it was a new hero, I guess. So I was like, okay, well... I saw it on video. I saw the the speculation on video. So either that guy could be wrong or whatever. Because the other guy said he read it somewhere. So he read it somewhere. Somebody obviously wrote it up and printed it. So uh, this is spawn number 280. That is the color cover right there, and then this is the black and white cover right there. The black and white was gone uh, pretty quick, because I was trying to pick up two copies of each, so I did get another copy of the color, but there was no more black. So I can't wait to read that one to see who is a villain or, and it's part five of the Dark Horror part five. Kill or Be Killed came out today. This is issue number 14. This has been a really good story. I've been really enjoying this, and the artwork is awesome in here too. So that just even even makes it all worth it. You can look at some good art, and then has a, and it's also a good story. Of course, everybody was this one was he. They have plenty of these, but uh, uh, this is like a little book. This is pretty cool. This is Batman Creatures of the Night book one. I think this is supposed to be a four part series as well. Um, it's supposed to talk about before. Um, of course, show you right there. There's his dad. Right there, it's supposed to be before his parents got killed. I guess it's supposed to lead up to when he got killed. When he, when the parents got killed. But that one right there is uh, Dark. I mean, Batman: Creatures of the Night, Book One. And this one, for some reason, was sold out. Sold out on Midtown. Uh, Quickly, and people were trying. People were saying they didn't know why, especially at the bookstore today, at the comic book shop. They had about twenty or thirty of these, and this is the Batman Annual Number Two, <coughs> Date Night, Last Rites, and it's supposed to talk about when Batman and Catwoman were hooking up. See, he's telling her, "Come on over, baby. Nobody's home. Get your ass over here." So. Catwoman, he put out the bowl of milk. Catwoman supposedly answers. Get these out already. Here is another one. This is the book I wanted. I didn't see this one in the in the previous. In the previous in the previous when I ordered it, it only showed three covers. But apparently there was like five covers. But this cover is sweet right here. This is supposed to be the D cover. This is one, yeah, one zero four. This is D A B C D. Yep, this is the D cover. This is the John Wick. This was supposed to come out like two months ago. El Paso, Texas. Can't wait to read this one. I really do enjoy the movies. Uh, and I was pissed off too when they killed his dogs. I love dogs. Actually, my dogs are they're being a little bit quiet right now. So something must be going on. They're like little kids. When they're quiet, you know they're doing something. But this is the D cover, and this is the one I ordered the A cover because I like the A. That's the A cover. I pre-ordered it out of the preview, so I have that in my box. But like I said, since the truck is somewhere stuck or somewhere wrecked on the road somewhere, the books are still in there for my other location. And then the hack and slash 
um, Resurrection. This is number two. This is the A cover. I did order the B cover, so I have the B cover that's going to be in my box whenever they come in. And this is number two. Hack and Slash. And then this one right here is New Talent Showcase 2017. They said, I was reading about this with bonus stories by Scott Snyder and an introduction by Klaus Jansen and Andy Kubert. It's supposed to be stories, I guess, from different writers and artists as well. It'll tell you who Red Hood, Duke, Raleigh, Carl, Patrick, yeah. So it's supposed to be like three or four different stories maybe in here. And it's supposed to be of new writers and new artists that are on the on the upcome, I guess, or whatever. Oh, look at that Joker. So I really can't wait to read this one, too. This one is... There's Katana. Somebody's got her blade, looks like. Well, it said it was supposed to be... Well, what I heard, like I said, I watch videos. I watch spec videos. Maybe here's this might be the new one. Let's see. Unleash your creativity. Let me see. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, this is looks like the Nightwing. Yeah, it looks like Nightwing right here. Then Silent Scream Poison Ivy. Yeah, so it is different stories. Like I said, different stories, different writers, and different artists. Wow, this is pretty cool. Can't wait to read it. These stories look like they're about five or six pages each. Uh, I guess it has the Bane story, a Katana story maybe, a Wonder Woman story, Nightwing, and then Poison Ivy. So this one looks pretty cool. It's pretty thick. I don't know how many pages it was. 40. Let me see. I don't think they're not showing me the numbers here. I forgot, but that book looks pretty cool. Can't wait to get it. So I guess story, story, one, two, three, four, five, six. So they broke them down individually. There should be six stories in there. This is what I take. But that is pretty cool. And like I said, I would have more books, but like I said, they didn't come in. Uh, the act, sorry about UPS having their little accident. Apparently they had an accident before. And they told me, they told me before it's happened. Oh, this is another thing too. Last week I called. And that's the thing about the stores that have two locations. I had the store on speed dial and I ended up pressing the wrong button and I called the wrong location I called the one that was furthest away from me and I told them they can hold two books for me and they said yes they would and I said I'll probably be there within an hour to go pick them up so I went when I went to the location that I thought I called which is not too far from my house showed up over there and they were like no we're not holding any books for you and I mean for yeah and then I told them no I said I called earlier I told them who I talked to and they said oh he's at the other location and I was like oh I said you know what I go then I called the wrong location I told them it was my fault Told me it was my fault, and if and I was like, I didn't really want to drive over there, so I just asked them, because I know they, you know, they take stuff to the stores in between stores, and I asked them, I said, do you think they can just transfer them over here? And I said, if they can, so I can. The guy jumped on the phone, talked to me, they said, yeah, they'll just transfer them over there. So they did, and I, I had these last week, but I was gonna do a video just on two books. So this is the however you pronounce that. A lot of I've heard of different ways. This is Mel Melfic. I heard him pronounce it that way. I heard him pronounce it Malefic. Heard him pronounce it. Um, what is the other one? Mel Melfic Malefic Malefic something like that. So however you want to pronounce it, it's up to you. But this has been a pretty good book. This is crazy looking. And this place and this place they uh they tend to bag their comics because. They're attached to a. They're attached to a uh, theater where you can walk in through from the theater side too, and apparently one day I guess and it's a it's a uh, it's a theater that sells beer and and stuff there, you know you can watch the movie and have beer and everything. So apparently somebody walked in because this comic book store stays open till eight nine o'clock or ten o'clock something like that. And apparently, like about eight, nine, seven, whatever, how long goes what they, you know, the story they told me that somebody came in from there. I guess I've been drinking a little and they have a, they have a table where all the comic, the new comic books come in and they had a table there. And apparently he dropped the drink on the table. So that's why they, they pack their, their, the, they pack their uh, comics in plastic bags that are on the, the new comic books that come out. 
and that's just a little story about them. But this has been a real good read. I liked, it. and then I liked that it's black and white. I heard some people complain that they, that they didn't really like the black and white. I mean, don't get me wrong. Look at that face, putting some makeup on it, some color to it with wood, make it pop, you know. But I mean, just the story and the way is written the way it looks this is just like old like you're in a you're in an asylum it's dark and grimsy in there and of course i picked up another one of these this is when i because i went to two different other locations they didn't have any well have any more so i called over there and they when they said they had about three left i told them if i can get one so they had held one for me but like i said it was the wrong it was the wrong store but like i said all proceeds are going to the they're going to the texas the Texas flood uh, victims in uh, in Houston. So of course I was gonna buy as many as I could because you know I'm from Texas. I uh, love to give out a helping hand over there too. So why not buy a couple of covers and then, like I said, and then the proceeds, 100% of the proceeds on this cover was going over there. So that's why I did it. You know, if they had about five or six more, I would still buy them, but. I know other people were picking them up, so I wanted to give other people a chance to have the cover, not just me. So that's my third cover of that one. Let's see, and I know I forget sometimes to do a cover of the week. This one is that. Let me get this one. Let me see what's behind here. That's a nice one, too. Hold on, guys. I'll give you a cover of the week. Yes, I will. I'm just going through the books right now to see which one I'm going to pick for cover of the week. That is a nice cover right there. Oh, there it is. I just found it. Cover of the week. Right there it goes to Old Man Logan. Number 31. That is a sweet looking cover. If I can get... Like I said, if I can get that one, whatever that other variant cover was, if I can get a hold of that one, that, that one would have been my cover of the week. But like I said, I'll probably get a hold of it either tomorrow or probably on Friday. And so it depends on when these guys get their, their truck in for their comics. Alrighty, guys, like I said, that is my comic haul. And oh, that was another thing I was, this, this past holiday, it just felt like it was forever before we got to do, like I said, usually... Wednesday comes around, do my video, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, before you notice, Wednesday again. But just being the holiday, you know, people, you know, people being all, people being with, you know, family, it was just like, you know, it felt like it's been, whew, a long time since I got to the comic book store. I was like, man, I was having some withdrawals. I wanted to go see my crack dealer today. I was going to go see a few crack dealers today, but like I said, some of them didn't get their stores, some of them didn't get their books, so at least I'll get to visit them tomorrow or Friday and uh, go get some more books. Uh, until then, like I said, hopefully everybody makes it out to their local OCSs and gets what they want, finds what they're looking for, you know, so like I said, that is my haul for today, and I'll probably do another video, because I will have, I will pick up plenty of books to do another video, so I either have another video tomorrow afternoon or Friday, maybe even Saturday. Alrighty guys, uh, talk to you later, the comic book villain out.